So let's discuss the hesitation keeping in mind the approach which is the best approach. First of all you will introduce yourself with the examiner. Okay how you will introduce yourself with the examiner you will say Hello examiner this is Dr. Ahmed my GMC number is 7808824567891010. Whatever GMC number you have you have to tell the examiner. And then after uh, telling this you have to uh, you know come uh, forward uh, toward your patient and your patient is Simon in this station first of all you have to make sure that you are a safe doctor so to maintain the safety you will uh, loudly say examiner assume I have taken all the universal precautions okay if you have verbalized this statement it's mean that you are a safe doctor so after this what you will do you will introduce yourself to the patient and you will acknowledge the condition of patient so in most of the cases of the sepsis of our uh, uh, septic shock like post uti septic shock patient will be breathless okay so what you will do you will introduce yourself to the uh, patient and you will acknowledge the situation or the condition of the patient how you will introduce you will say hello it's dr ahmed one of the doctor in this department i can see you are struggling for the breathing could you please confirm your full name and age for me patient will tell you the name whatever the patient name is patient will tell you the name so okay after this you will ask please tell me what happened to you what exactly happened then patient will tell you a story doctor three days back i came to you i had a uti you give me medication this this and this everything now and then patient will tell you that doctor i started a problem with my breathing and then you will ask when did it start how did it start so please keep in mind that there could be different reasons of the sepsis sepsis could be due to your uh, chest infection sepsis could be due to your tummy infection sepsis could be uh, due to your uh, you know uh, urine infection so you have to ask all the questions and patient presenting complaint is breathing problem so you have to rule out the pulmonary embolism as well so you have to ask all of the questions so you will ask when did it start how did it start after this you will ask about the cough and fever that's mean you have uh, uh, you know uh, ruled out chest infection then you will ask any chest or leg pain you have ruled out pulmonary embolism then you will ask any urinary problem uh, you, uh, like you are ruling out any uh, you know uti uh, leading to sepsis then you will ask about any tummy problem after this when you will ask about the urinary problem patient will tell you doctor yes i have problem with my uh, you know urine i came three days back you give me this medication everything uh, in this case is due to urinary problem then you will ask about mma any medical condition previously any medication patient taking previously or anything patient allergic to then you will ask about the smoker cuff as well so this is very very important so please keep in mind whatever the semen station is if your patient is struggling for breathing you have to verbalize loudly to the examiner like you will say examiner ideally i would like to put my patient in a semi sitting position okay verbalize this that's it your uh, you know duty is end there is no need to uh, put the patient in semi sitting position you have to just verbalize the patient then you will come to the patient and you will say adam or whatever the name of your patient is i am going to assess you it will include look feel tab and listen to please uh, learn by heart look feel tab listen look feel tab listen to different parts of your body please be assured a member of medical team is with me and he is acting as a chaperone this means you have done the privacy you have uh, you know uh, maintained the privacy as well you maintain safety previously and you maintain a uh, privacy right now so after this you will look at the monitor and you will acknowledge this what happened in the normal life in the normal life you will have to attach the monitor by yourself but in the examination in the plap 2 exam uh, exam uh, uh, your patient your semen will be attached to the uh, monitor already so you have to acknowledge this you will say i can see that my patient is attached to the monitor so i am directly going to start a b c d e approach so after this you will move toward the airway so in the airway if your patient is talking to you you can say as my patient is talking so i think that airway is patent but in the case of semen of the sepsis you will see that your patient will be struggling for the air so you will say that as my patient is struggling for the air so i am going to assess the airway 
so how you will assess the airway i am looking for what i am looking for lip swelling tongue swelling and foreign body and after this what you will do you will check for the oxygen saturation so in this case definitely oxygen saturation will be low so you will say as my patient oxygen saturation is low as my patient oxygen saturation is 82 percent so i am going to give the 100 percent oxygen 15 liter per minute via non rebreather mask as we have excluded smoker cuff in the history so we can give the oxygen via non rebreather mask so after attaching the oxygen we can ask the patient how are you feeling now okay so after this uh, maintaining the airway after managing the low oxygen we will move toward the breathing that is b so after this you will move toward the b that is breathing part of the cement station and here you will say uh, adam i am going to unbutton your shirt to see your chest it will include look feel and i will feel the position of your windpipe tap and listen to your chest and in this uh, you know b part of the sepsis cement when you will do the auscultation what you will find you will find coarse crackles okay you will find the coarse crackles so after doing this what you will do you will order immediate x-ray ecg and abg and in the abg report you will find lactate more than two so after doing this b part you will move toward the c part that is circulation here you will say adam i am going to pinch your finger and i am going to take your pulse and blood pressure then after verbalizing this you will see the monitor and you will uh, verbalize to the examiner now i can see my patient blood pressure is low and my patient pulse is high so what you are going to do i am going to insert two large borai canolas into the arm of my patient and i will take the blood for the uh, uh, for the relevant uh, lab investigations so you have to verbalize which investigations you are going to order you are going to order relevant investigation including blood culture blood sugar serum creatinine protein urea electrolyte creatinine clotting profile and the full blood count as well so after this definitely patient blood pressure is low this is sepsis station please don't give normal saline you will verbalize that my patient blood pressure is low so i will give ringer lactate 500 ml over 10 to 15 minutes and i can give maximum 2 liter in the first hour so after attaching the uh, fluid to your patient you will ask how are you feeling okay so after this you will move toward the d so in the d the important part is blood sugar and temperature and you will find here that your patient blood you will say that as my patient uh, temperature is very high so i am going to give the paracetamol one gram iv stand and i will start my patient on broad spectrum iv antibiotics so you have to give paracetamol and you have to give broad spectrum antibiotics through the veins of your patient so after giving the paracetamol and after giving the antibiotics you will again reassess the blood pressure of your patient so after reassessing the pressure we will act accordingly if pressure, blood pressure is still low we can st uh, further give the iv ringer lactate solution so after completing the d we will move toward the e that is the exposure part of the cement station here uh, what we will say we will say adam i am going to look at your tummy and we will observe the tummy quickly because we know it is given in the history that your patient presented three days ago with a uti so we are suspecting that this sepsis is due to UTI so we will not consume uh, our time on the tummy we will uh, quickly examine the tummy so after this the main part is here the private area so we will say Adam I am going to expose your private area and we will check the private area if there is catheter okay if there is catheter we will, what we will do we will check the urine bag definitely there will be turbid urine whatever if there is no urine in the bag if there is clear urine in the bag but still you have to remove the catheter always always remove the catheter in anaphylaxis station and in the sepsis station as well so what we will do we will remove the catheter and we will insert a new one okay so after inserting the new uh, uh, new catheter what we will do with the previous one we will send urine for urine dipstick test and the culture so after this we have inserted the as we have inserted the new catheter we will monitor the urine output so after doing this we can ask our patient how are you feeling now if patient is not uh, you know talking to you you can reassess the blood pressure of your patient so 
in this way you have to do the A to E approach in the cementation of the sepsis. So after this definitely your patient will be stable, uh, your examiner will stabilize your patient and now you will ask your patient. If the patient is stable then you will explain the condition to the patient and the management what you have do you will have to explain to your patient. Okay then you will mention that now I am going to admit you in the ITU okay and i will involve my senior as well apart from that we will do the further investigations as we have started the antibiotics according to the hospital protocol but once the correct results will be the back we can change your antibiotic so after this you can uh, tell about the safety netting as well all right so basically this was a sepsis station and you will be seeing that we have completed the sepsis 6 protocol over here okay we have given oxygen to our patient and we have given the iv fluid we have given the iv antibiotics as well and we have taken the blood culture we have taken the lactate and uh, lactate we have taken in the abg and we have taken the urine output as well so this is the way uh, how you have to attempt the cement station of sepsis please follow this approach and please be assured that if you follow this approach and if you are not knowing that this is a sepsis station but you are following the A to E approach you can get full marks in your exam thank you very much